This looks really cool with these branches. Unfortunately, uh, closed. I'm in the village of Kosharevo, but we can look inside. See, there you go. Mm. Now you might grow tired of seeing all the churches, but uh, I really have a strong interest. I'm not a Christian. Uh, if, if I had to classify myself as anything, I, I wouldn't call myself an atheist either. Because I think that's pretty much devoid of any spirituality whatsoever. So I tend to... To, uh, well... point towards paganism more that's not to say I'm necessarily pagan either but there is no book to that that stream of thought let's say there is no book but there's a whole lot of spirituality in it and uh, I'm most certainly convinced that there is more to the world that we can see so I wouldn't necessarily classify myself an atheist either. Well, what else is there that would be able to describe that? An agnost, agnostic, but I'm not sure I'm that either. Either way, just labels, so it doesn't really matter. On my way to probably the last destination for today, this is a monastery. A little bit up here. It's uh, getting dark already, so I wish these days were longer, but there's only so much you can explore, right? It's the village. So many dogs everywhere, but uh, it's not doing anything. Yeah, it's a little bit grim when it's uh, getting dark, like, you know, uh, from from my uh, work that Bulgaria is a very emotional country, like it's not filled with joy to the brim, you know, there's people living in very, very tough circumstances, as you can see here. There's people living in these homes. And then there's another home here that's a lot nicer and people kind of struggle, you know, really. All right, getting a pretty long climb, but I'm here. Wow. This is the uh, village of Baniste. I have no idea where exactly I am. Let's say somewhere between Kustandil and Panic on that route and then completely in the middle of nowhere. But wow. Like even if you have zero interest in these buildings, you eventually are bound to end up at some of them because it's no offense to these villages, but sometimes that's all there is to see, and you might as well. They are often the highlight of the village. Too bad I cannot get in. It's a real pretty place here. Wow. So at this place, before this church, well it is a church, but it goes by a monastery uh, title nowadays. Before, there used to be a big monastery during the Second Bulgarian Empire. I've been uh, led to believe, as I read a story online. And nowadays, uh, it's still standing here. 
This one was built in the uh, half of the 19th century, let's say 1850. And uh, at that point, Ottomans didn't allow uh, big churches to be built. So what I did is they built very small doors. And I guess in some way got around that. By claiming that at least the door is little, I don't really know. But it's interesting.